So here we are on day one of the Keith Tippett Celebration event, and I'm joined by Chris Wood, who will be performing this evening as part of our Rare Music Club night in honour of Keith. So Chris, you were involved with a Rare Music Club a few years ago, I believe. Yeah, there was, t uh, I think I did two, one at the cricket club or the football club or whatever it was, and I think another one at the wharf at Tavistock. And I did, it that was with Andy Cutting, and I did one with, I think I did something at the Arnold Feeney with Keith as well. Um, yes. So it, what do you remember it does from blur that a little. Um, era? I just remember being completely blown away. I, you see, us folkies, we, 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 we never felt like we were being taken seriously very much. You know what I mean? We were always kind of the poor relation. But with the Rare Music Club, there was none of that. It was three com completely distinct acts, but all taken you know completely seriously and and uh it it made us play our asses off basically you know it was great the balanescu quartet was sensational so who was on the bill when you when you did the rare music club uh that well yeah the balanescu i mean i remember paul dunmore wind uh, no what's eight octet yeah that was at the arnold feeney that was just mental i mean it was fantastic so you see that and you're sitting there with your violin <laughs> You know, and you and your pal with his guitar, you know, and and you're thinking, okay, it's our turn now, and it just it made you get out there and and really play, you know, like like music for music's sake, rather than you know any other kind of twisted narrative that that might be brought to bear. You know, you just thought, no, 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 it's okay, just play, yeah, just play, you know. I think that's one thing that Keith did yes. naturally. He helped you or encouraged people to push their own boundaries, either through inspiring you or encouraging you. Um, so yeah, that's yeah, that, yeah, that you put it really well there. That that's I mean, uh, that's why I found it so hard to articulate because it, it's it's not a lot. It's not really about words. It's hard to put into words what Keith was doing. Mm. But basically, by example, you, you know, there was so much music in the place. You, it was your turn now. It's your turn yeah. now. Get out there and play. And I mean, you know, I, I get a bit of a uh, sort of a shiver. tingly, tingly yeah. shiver now, you know. Yeah. yeah. What and, a guy. And what's your kind of favourite unforgettable memory of Oh, Keith? I can't tell you that because it's, cause his <laughs> jokes were so shocking and foul-mouthed and rude. <laughs> but it was definitely a couple of his jokes. But I can't tell you what they were. His timing was impeccable. As with all musicians, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's making us laugh even today, <laughs> he isn't he? Is, so, he is, yeah. Yeah, so here's to Keith. Yes. Thank you, Chris. Keith. Oh, it's only water, sorry. <laughs> the pint will come later. Mm -hmm. Thank you.